In this section of our Burp Suite series, we will look into more details about the difference between spidering versus discover content. Now the term spidering or crawling of a website is the mapping of all pages and folders contained within that site. Now this mapping creates a downloaded copy of the application which allows someone to then analyze that site offline. Now in many cases, spidering is automated. However, applications that are heavily coded in AJAX and client-side frameworks may require a more hybrid approach that leverages both automated as well as manual spidering techniques. Now manual spidering techniques, of course, means that there is the actual clicking by the tester through the links of a page for purposes of triggering events on that website. Using the OWASP Node Goat as our sample application, which is written in Node.js, we're going to use Burp Suite to actually spider this Ajax heavy website. So when we first come to the page and we have all of our traffic flowing through Burp Suite, when we initially come to the page, you're going to see the proxy will capture all of those requests that were sent against that web application. Now, though there were different objects that were pipelined in that one request of just going to this login screen, we are going to just focus on this particular login URL. So we can add that to our scope. If we go to our target tab, we can see that now that URL is in our target scope. We need to have this scope set in order to know where to start our spidering. If we flip over to the sitemap, we can now see that we have that same URL in our sitemap. Now, other links that are in gray, which means that Burp Suite did not, did not actually go to those sites, other links that are superfluous to our main target, we can actually remove from being shown on the sitemap. You can do that by clicking this filter and then selecting show only in scope items. Now we can just focus on spidering from our main URL that is in our scope. So from here, we can right click and spider this host. I'm going to include additional items just to ensure that I capture everything. Now, you will be prompted for any kind of forms. If you would like to submit them, you certainly can. There are some default values that go into submitting this information, or you can ignore them. The other thing that you'll notice is the spider will continue to run as we continue to click links through the website, so that process continues. Now in the results, you can see that everything that is in black is a link that Burp Suite actually clicked and crawled through. Discover content is a lesser known ability within Burp Suite, allowing a tester to perform a more forced browse. Now a forced browse is the discovering of pages or folders that are not directly linked off the main application's website. Sometimes administrative login pages may not be available directly from the mapped application. Now discovery content functionality enables testers to find such URLs. Burp Suite provides efficiency by utilizing smart forced browsing. This means Burp Suite learns from new pages and folders discovered, making better decisions to reveal additional finds similar in nature. For example, if a directory called slash blog is found, 
Burp Suite will try to discover known folders related to WordPress or other popular blogging software. Now the functionality contained here has default word lists that are proprietary to the Burp Suite product. However, if a tester wished to use a custom word list, they can certainly do this by leveraging the intruder module, which we will discuss later. So continuing with the demo of our OWASP node goat, we will now do a discover content against this website. Now how you do this in Burp Suite is you right click, go to engagement tools, and discover content. Now another pop-up dialog box will appear. This gives you the ability of starting the discovery process as well as stopping it. Also, you should realize there are some configurations that you can set up, particularly when it comes to the number of threads that you want to run against the application. And then finally, there's this additional sitemap that's going to be populated as we run the tool showing the newly discovered content. So in order to start the discovery process, you just click this button and then you can begin to see the number of requests and the various paths that Burp Suite is now uh, going through and discovering. So we're not quite finished with the process, but you can already see there are numerous folders that were not present before that we can now see. So looking at the results of our content discovery sitemap, we can see that anything that is in red lettering means that it had a status of 301. This means that the link has changed or moved in some way so what you can see now is that by returning to the original sitemap, we are now able to see a lot more folders than what we were able to see before.